Willis Ben Bushi was an American character actor who appeared in almost 150 films and television shows. He was born in Vernon, Michigan, but reared by his mother and stepfather in Washington State. Bushi may be best known for his movie appearances in The Horse Soldiers, The Long Grey Line, Sergeant Rutledge, Two Road Together, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, The Big Heat, Pick Up on South Street, No Name on the Bullet, and Suddenly. He also made uncredited appearances in From Here to Eternity, How the West Was Won, Them, Executive Suite, and A Star is Born, and appears briefly in Frank Capra's cameo-filled comedy Pocket Full of Miracles. Television. Bushi projected a sober, dignified demeanor that served him well in character roles. He was a member of Jack Webb's Dragnet Stock Company, billed variously as Willis Bushi, William Bushi, or Bill Bushi. He appeared as a sheep trader in the title 1958 episode Cash Robertson of the NBC children's western series Buckskin. In 1960 to 1961, he was cast twice in the ABC sitcom Harrigan and Son, starring Pat O'Brien and Roger Perry and four times in the role of Springer in the CBS sitcom, Pete and Gladys. He guest-starred on CBS's Dennis the Menace and played a judge in 23 episodes of that same network's Perry Mason. He also worked again with Perry Mason title star Raymond Burr in an episode of NBC's Ironside. He made guest appearances on Sheriff of Cochise, Crossroads, Richard Diamond, Private Detective, Johnny Ringo, Stony Burke, Going My Way, The Dakotas, Hazel, and The Andy Griffith Show. On ABC's Colt 45 television series, Bushy played Lou Wallace, the governor of New Mexico Territory, in the episode Amnesty. Wallace offered a pardon to the bandit Billy the Kid, played on Colt 45 by Robert Conrad. Throughout his career, Bushi worked in 12 different productions for director John Ford and was one of the more frequently used members of Ford's stock company. In The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance he delivered the line, Nothing's too good for the man who shot Liberty Valance, filmography, The Violent Men, The Wings of Eagles, 